From email to bank accounts to streaming services, everything requires a password nowadays. It can be hard to keep track of them, especially after making a new one. How can we safely remember our passwords? Good question. Jeff Wagner unlocks the smart and secure steps you should take. Starting most digital tasks from your computer to your phone begins by logging in. There's passwords for every single thing these days, it seems like. How many passwords are in your rotation? I have about three. I have um, five. Five? That's pretty good. I probably only have about two passwords, if I'm being honest. A low and risky amount, yet understandable. It's not logical to have 500 passwords for your 500 different apps. Has this happened to you? You make a new password, but then you forget it. So you reset it, but forget that one, and the painful loop continues. It's the number one reason that uh, people end up creating weak passwords is just or reusing passwords. Mark Sommerfeld is an IT security expert. How can we safely remember our passwords? The number one uh, the recommendation I would have is using a password manager app. Password manager apps encrypt your passwords so that only you can access them. They also create unique passwords for all your accounts. Bitwarden, Dashlane, and LastPass are the apps Sommerfeld's company recommends. How do you try to remember them? You know, most of them are things that are familiar to me. When you're trying to memorize a password, now you you begin uh, making them easier, shorter. You maybe put your birthday in or your uh, your pet's name or something like that. Sommerfeld says making a password easy to memorize means it's easy to hack. Other mistakes include writing them down or storing them in an unsecured document on your phone or computer. If that file isn't uh, encrypted, somebody that got access to your computer, somebody that got access to the file could easily to find all of your passwords. Do you feel like the passwords are strong that you have? Um, according to Apple, yes. It says <laughs> it's a strong password, so I'm gonna trust that. I try to use the face ID whenever I can, because that just makes it easier. When making a new password, Sommerfeld says make it long, like 12 to 15 characters. Include numbers, symbols, plus upper and lowercase letters, and avoid anything familiar. If, if somebody can look on your Facebook page and get details about you, don't use any of those details that they would be able to find about you. Lastly, use two-factor authentication when possible. In the case where, uh, you know, your password gets breached or, or hacked or found, uh, there is a second layer uh, protecting that account for you. In Minneapolis, Jeff Wagner, WCCO News.